Hi guys, uh, today I'll be reviewing the EW100P DSP, which is an IAM from SimGot. Uh, SimGot is a sort of a new, uh, new audio company found in 2015 in China. I just want to say big thanks to SimGot for sending me these uh, IAM, uh, this IAM. And this is my first SimGom, uh, SimGot IAM, and uh, this is also my first uh, DSP IAM. So I'm quite excited for this review. Uh, I've never tried in DSP IAM, this is my first DSP IAM. Uh, also, uh, just want to say before I start the review that the, they are not seeing this uh, video before you guys are seeing it, or nor do they have any review input for this. Uh, uh, for this review all the thoughts and opinions are about to hear are my own uh, before i talk about the sound quality i just want to say uh, i just want to talk about the build quality the comforts and the accessories uh, so yeah uh, these do come in this uh, shiny box and uh, you know uh, and this has this cute shark over here which i quite like uh, the shark artwork uh, and the packaging is very minimal it just comes with one pair of tips uh, and uh, this eye this is an extra case which i bought it for my own personal use and this is not included with this eye uh, and these cost 25 dollars and 20 during a sale so these are in dsp im so what are dsp im if this is your first time learning about dsp im so dsp means digital signal processing chip uh, basically there is a, a chip uh, which uh, which has been encoded in this uh, usb-c uh, dongle and uh, you can digitally tune the sound uh, signature or the sound uh, so here this im follows the harman 2019 curve uh, to the t uh, the ims are very lightweight as you can see uh, very lightweight i think so these each weigh around uh, 1.5 gram or something like that so and they are really comfortable to wear for long periods of time uh, the cable are sadly not uh, detachable uh, these are fixed cable uh, i would have liked to seen a detachable cable but uh, again uh, because uh, for 20 for the same price point that tanzim one has a detachable cable it would have been nice because then you could use this dsp with uh, a cable with other ims that would have been nice if simgot would have done that then again this is a very new technology uh, there are only few ims in this range Although the cable is uh, very light uh, and very comfortable to wear, what as you can see the cable is very thin. So I'm a bit scared when I might tear this off and you know the IM might become useless. Uh, for daily use, uh, it is comfortable but it is quite scary because I might just you know if, if I tug them uh, really hard I might uh, tear them off. Uh, so there is no USB-C to USB-A adapter included. So if you do not have an USB-C laptop or an USB-C computer and if you want to play it via USB-A. Uh, you cannot do that. Uh, so that USB-C to USB-A adapter you have to, uh, sorry, USB-A to USB-C adapter you have to purchase it separately and it is not included in the box. Again, this is an epic but I still thought of mentioning because a lot of people might want to use it uh, with their USB-A. Uh, the packaging is very bare bones, again what do you expect for $25. Uh, and no, there is no driver flex surprise in here, it has a vent so there is no driver flex. I also like the transparent design which uh, SimGot has gone with. Uh, you can see the, you can uh, see the driver inside, it is quite good. Uh, I do like the transparent design uh, now this is the basic the build quality comfort and the accessories let's talk about the sound signature uh, uh, sound signature so as i mentioned earlier the sound signature is very harman 2019 it follows the harman 2019 curve to the t with a slight bass step now from the graph it looks uh, that it has a bit more bass than the 3.5 millimeter counterpart which is a simbot ew100 uh, uh, i'll just pop a graph over here uh, the bass is really good uh, they have a really good uh, rumble uh, it is more of a sub bass focus than mid bass focus uh, the mid are a bit recessed the male vocals uh, on this are uh, sit bit on the background for example when i'm listening to anything male vocal heavy uh, it, it it sounds a bit of meh uh, and they sit on the background again nitpick for the price point and the tuning they went with but i still thought of mentioning as usual uh, with female vocals these are again surprisingly good as someone who listens to a lot of female vocals i really do enjoy uh, uh, using these i am uh, i do quite like that The treble is quite good for this uh, price point overall but one more nitpick i would say if is that the treble isn't that well extended but then again these are 25 dollars uh, a little bit of more airiness on the of the treble uh, would have uh, would have made them a bit more nice you know uh, for example many songs which for example classicals would have been uh, would have sounded really good in this if this would have had that uh, bit of more airiness on the treble region these don't have that again these are 25 dollars these are like really utter nitpicks from me but i still wanted to mention it if you were you know trying to do that critical listen now uh, again keeping the price in mind the technicality is also quite good uh, it has a, a decent instrument separation in the for, for the price uh, i did listen to sort of uh, i do listen to classical music when i'm listening for that technicalities and instrument separation uh, it is quite decent uh, the sound stage is also surprisingly wide and uh, deep uh, again it was a big surprise for me because i didn't expect that the sound stage is really good uh, i am someone who does like a big uh, sound stage so i really liked it uh, imaging is also quite decent uh, it is nothing out of the ordinary uh, technicality is also quite okay for the price. Uh, 
some people in the hobby might be put off by the fact that this IM is Harman tuned uh, and uh, many people do not like that. Well, one of the main reasons many people do not like the Harman curve is because it has that uh, shouty and uh, PSC upper mids for many people, uh, especially with the western ears as, so as to speak. Even I do feel that but not all the time. For me that does have an advantage is, is that you do get very good vocals as I said, the, especially the female vocals, they sound really good in this. So if you're someone like that, you might not like this but then again this really does work out really well because of that you know uh, sub bass extension uh, works out really well uh, now a uh, gaming test uh, this is a test which i have been doing for all the ems uh, these do quite well for the gaming uh, these do have quite a good sound stage and also average imaging uh, i was i was quite happy with them uh, nothing great you know and for me they didn't get any psc or shouty for me but for some people it might get psc or shouty uh, so do keep that in mind also when there are a lot of uh, gunshots or uh, lots of things happening in the gaming uh, that time the treble was uh, psc and it was mud and it was quite muddied and i had to again take the im out so i just wanted to mention that after this i'll just do a mic test of this this is in a quiet environment wikipedia is a free content online encyclopedia written and maintained by community of volunteers collectively known as wikipedians through open collaboration and using a wiki based editing system called media wiki Wikipedia is the largest and most read reference in history and has consistently been one of the 10 most popular websites. Let's talk about the recommendations. So who are these uh, IEM for? So I would say if you are uh, very new to the hobby and you do not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, thank you Apple for removing that and all the companies following on suite with it. So you have to buy an IEM and also a dongle tag. So that might add up to the price. So rather than that, you can go with the DSP IEM. Uh, so this IEM is for those kind of people who are new to the hobby. And also for those, if you want to carry an everyday IM in this, uh, in, in a small case around, uh, and you don't want to carry your expensive IM for daily work, commute or anything like that. So yeah, uh, so uh, because this is a case which I bought for $2 or $1 from AliExpress, you can get it or anywhere else, you know, uh, they sell them on Amazon, anywhere around the world. And uh, what happen, uh, What I do is I just uh, chuck them inside the case and take it around. Because one more, uh, one thing I don't like is because if I do carry this around uh, loose like this, uh, I'm, I'm scared that I might uh, this off and also the cable does get tangled up a lot so this one dollar case or two dollar case if i do not get a case inside the box of any im i just use this uh, this case it works really well uh, they are very small and make for a great everyday carry so these are my first DSP IMs and I was really impressed with this. Uh, this is especially good for someone who is getting into the hobby and uh, who doesn't want to invest into USB-C to 3.5. Uh, so that was my review of the SimGot EW100P DSP. I really want to thank SimGot for sending me this IM. Uh, it was really good seeing my first DSP IM. I quite liked it. I do use it on daily use now. If you do like my video, please do uh, like my video. Please do subscribe to my channel uh, and hit that bell notification. That helps out a lot. It is free and it helps me out a lot. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you have any co uh, doubts or suggestions, you can comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.